Mercedes-Benz and director James Cameron have looked into the future and brought back a concept car that literally reinvents the wheel with a car that moves like a crab. Concept cars and movie tie cars are not a new thing. Mercedes and Avatar director James Cameron have both lived up to their larger-than-life reputations by taking these ideas to fascinating new heights with the Mercedes-Benz AVTR, and the results will knock you sideways. Concept cars the way that car companies show off their future technology in the hopes of making the consumer think they're the most advanced company out there. To do that, they have to create something that really grabs people's attention. Tying in a concept car to one of the biggest movies ever made is one way, giving it attention grabbing futuristic features is another. Fortunately for Mercedes-Benz, the Vision AVTR, or Advanced Vehicle Transformation, don't do the math on where the R comes from, does both. By associating with the movie Avatar, the AVTR sidesteps the problem of a concept car blending in with all the other aspirational pieces of technology on the car show floor. Get it? Sidesteps? Because the car goes sideways? Yeah, you get it. Certainly, the AVTR's wheels and axles set up are the most eye-popping aspect of this crazy new concept car. The strangely shaped tires are inspired by the seeds to the tree of souls and allow for them to be rotated so that the car can move forward with the car at a 30-degree angle. This builds on something that has actually been around for quite a while now, four-wheel steering. Normally, a car only has one set of smart wheels that can turn left or right at the front of the car that change the vehicle's direction, dragging the rear wheels through the turn. With four-wheel steering, either the axle or the wheels themselves rotate along with the front wheels, reducing the arc that the car makes through the turn, and allowing the grip on the rear tires to work with the car instead of against it. This feature began appearing in cars in 1988, but it wasn't on exotic cars or rare cars, it was on the Honda Prelude. The four-wheel steering gave the car a tight 33-foot turning radius, as well as more stability in turns. These days, more exotic cars use some version of four-wheel steering, including the Porsche 911. Of course, neither the 911 or the Prelude can crab walk down the road. For that level of control with four-wheel steering, you have to go where cars go to die. A monster truck rally. Monster trucks actually directly control their rear steering to tighten their turning radius in the tight arenas as well as help perform some of their crazier stunts. There are other uses for unconventional steering as well. In the 1950s, Cadillac decided to put that freeloading spare tire to work by using it to swing the rear end of the car into a parallel parking space. The extra steering on the Vision AVTR, however, is mostly to look striking in videos as the primary job of a concept car is to grab attention. But the level of control over how the car moves is part of the design aesthetic of the AVTR and what makes it unique. The design is meant to be an organic interface with the car and driver, meant to evoke how the Na'vi from the blockbuster movie would connect directly with other creatures on the planet. Since Mercedes-Benz can't give us a kind of USB ponytail that will connect us, they've set out the next best thing in the control interface that responds to your biometric information. With the future marching relentlessly towards taking away the driving duties from the driver and passing them along to the car, car companies are looking for new ways to conceive of driver and car interface. This isn't unique in the Vision AVTR. Manufacturers have used different trends to look at different ways to control their concepts, from airplane yokes to joysticks. The Vision AVTR goes with the latter, but with a twist. Lay your hand on the middle console and the controller rises to meet you. It also reads your biometric information to identify who you are specifically. This isn't a far-off future technology either. Luxury cars have started to use saved settings for individual drivers and even some ways for the car to identify that driver on its own. The current Hyundai Santa Fe uses driver preference settings that are unlocked with a fingerprint. There have been other designs using other clues to tell the car who you are too, including reading your posterior. Yeah, you heard me. The Vision AVTR gets close and personal with you through the control console, including syncing with your pulse, rising and falling as if your car shared your heartbeat and breath. This kind of intimate communication is a key part of the design aesthetic of the Vision AVTR. The colors inside the car change with your mood as well. Of course, having a conversation with your own car about your mood is fine and all, but what if you want to communicate those feelings with other drivers? Enter the 33 distinct scales that operate independently and in unison that turns the car into a giant mood ring while also actively managing the airflow over the vehicle. Activate aerodynamics, which is to say a part of the car that moves in order to affect the air 
fare differently in different situations. Goes back a long way to a man named Jim Hall who tried to give one of his race cars a little more braking power. Taking his cue from air brakes on planes, Hall put a giant flap on top of his chaparral, one that the driver could raise up when they needed to slow the car down quickly. They discovered though that if they only kind of raised the flap, the air would help press the car to the ground, allowing it to go through the turns faster and require less braking. On the straights, the flap could lay flat again, reducing air resistance. The top speed gobbling monster Bugatti has a very similar setup with a wing that sits straight up to help slow the 300 mile per hour car down. Since Jim Hall's chaparral brought downforce to racing wings, spoilers have evolved a lot. Some wings are designed for downforce to make the car handle better in the turn. Others help the airflow over the car and reduce the drag coefficient, making the car both faster and more efficient. With fixed aerodynamics, that's all the car does. With the active aero effects, the car can adapt to its needs, like the spoiler that becomes an air brake on the Bugatti. Underneath those 33 scales are lights that convey simple information, like the car is slowing down or more complex information, like whatever light blue is supposed to say about the mood of the driver. I don't know, sad? Hidden under all the attention-grabbing technology that has limited practical use is something that might actually be the most important aspect of the coming future, and that comes in the form of batteries. Naturally, the organically designed Mercedes concept based on a blockbuster movie about harmony with the environment is not just going to leave things at biometric interface. No, no, no. The most stunning figure from the car comes from its battery electric range of almost 500 miles from the graphene batteries that don't use rare earth metals metals and could one day be biodegradable. Currently, rare earth metals are the Achilles heel of battery electric cars, requiring expensive mining and making the batteries themselves expensive. New battery technologies like this could drastically change the battery electric vehicles in the future. The car contains other conveniences that might end up closer to your near future Mercedes, like using an infotainment screen that will play a 3D version of Avatar while it takes you where you need to go and also give you a view of the kids in the back who themselves will be entertained by a personalized entertainment system. Of course, the Vision AVTR is not intended to end up in any showrooms at any time. It's a design study and a marketing tool. Concept cars have used trends in the zeitgeist to help grab people's attention. The GMC Firebird concept cars attempted to take the jet age to the streets with cars inspired by fighter jet designs. That works great for people who attend auto shows and read car magazines, but how do you get your futuristic concept into the more casual buyer's mind? Enter the art of cross-promotion. It's like product placement, but with extra steps. Instead of a Mercedes just appearing in the next Avatar movie, the car is designed to evoke both Avatar and Mercedes-Benz future technology. This has happened before. Audi designed concept cars for movies like iRobot and lent prototypes of future models to Avengers Endgame. It's not new either. In the 1980s, the Dodge M4S concept car starred as the ride of the titular Avenging Ghost in the movie The Wraith. Even the iconic Batmobile from the 1966 Batman series was built off the Ford Futura concept car that George Barris bought off Ford for a dollar. The car later sold for $4.6 million at Barrett-Jackson. Not a bad return. Lexus has also lent special additions to the King of Wakanda in the Black Panther movie, and the science bros Tony Stark and Bruce Banner helped introduce the Acura NSX's return in The Avengers. What all these cars have in common is that they appear in the movies as well as the car show and often have a thematic touch here or there to tie the car into the movie itself. Mostly that's because, like in the case of the Wraith and Batman, the car came before the movie. The AVTR is the advantage of building on a movie that came out 11 years ago. This too isn't entirely unheard of. Porsche has designed the look for one of the spaceships in the latest set of Star Wars movies, but that design never became a drivable car, unless you count the Taycan, which the ship was styled after. Some concept cars make their way into production, but they're never as wild as the Vision AVTR concept. Usually they're test balloons to gauge the public interest. So if the AVTR isn't going into production and most of the stuff you see won't make it into a car, why make this car at all? Well, it goes back to that trying to associate with the future of the car company thing. Special edition cars like the AMG One can act as halo cars that are aspirational, so that the driver of a C-Class can have a car that shares DNA with a supercar. But the concept car is meant to turn the idea of future from unobtainium to obtainium. This also means the AVTR can be built without the pesky concerns like cost to produce, since they'll only produce one of them. There's also no price for the AVTR, and Mercedes isn't likely to tell us how much it costs to make other than millions. 
Mercedes EQV Electric, which borrows tech from the AVTR, will go on sale for a much more reasonable $67,900. Goodyear's Eagle 360 tires could give autonomous cars the ability to slide sideways, similar to the AVTR too. So while you may never get to drive one of your own Avatar-inspired Mercedes, some of that might make it into your future Mercedes. That's the crazy concept car crossover with Avatar for Mercedes. What features do you want to see?